Somebody's lying. Somebody's lying, y'all. I don't know who. Uh, not taking sides. All I know is somebody's lying. Okay. One black bridge, somebody lying. What you talking about, Fur? I'm talking about former Jack State lineman, Amari Ward, or Deion Sanders camp out there in Colorado. Somebody is lying. So we're going to briefly talk about this. Okay, we're going to briefly talk about it. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, and put all of your people on it. Okay. Also, make sure y'all fuck with our sponsor. That is the King McNeil Collection. Make sure you go to kingmcneil.com or download the app, and you'll get 20% off of your first purchase. Okay. So it's the holiday season. You try to go on ahead and get them purchases in. You know what I'm talking about? For any of y'all that are in divine nine fraternities and sororities, or if you you, you you know somebody, you love somebody who's in the divine nine fraternities and uh, uh, sororities, okay, you got to shop with King McNeil, okay? Black on, and that's my people, you understand? Great people. Fuck with them. Tell them first century. But let's get into it, y'all. I'll I give y'all the backstory real quick. If you ain't on it, you probably are on it. Okay, I kind of stayed away from the whole Amari Ward uh, situation, you know, all the, the 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 Facebook post that you know everybody was talking about, and all the uh, vitriol and back and forth that came with that, with him uh, apparently explaining why you know he left Jack State University, and long story short, him basically acting like he felt unsafe, whatever. I stayed away from that because that you know. I don't know, you know, that kid, that might be that kid's experience. I don't know. I don't know, okay. But I know now that this news has come out basically making it seem like, well, first of all, he made it seem like he was headed towards Colorado. A lot of publications picked that up. Or, uh, you know, we even did a segment about uh, Colorado's revamped offensive line. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we didn't include him in that though okay but some publications did uh but colorado has come back and said no he ain't coming here okay let's look at it and this is from an article by stephen j gaither of uh, hbcu game day all right he writes former jack state offensive lineman amari ward may be committed to colorado football but colorado football doesn't feel the same way a week after former Jack State offensive lineman Amari Ward announced he was still committed to Colorado, a member of the coaching staff shut that down. Colorado football assistant Andrew Zimmer posted the following in response to a post about Ward coming to see you. This is from the coach. Amari Ward is not coming to see you as a recruit, Zimmer tweeted. No one on our staff has talked to him. In fact, this is the second year he has posted a fake offer from us. Ward claimed, uh, Gaither continues writing, Ward claimed he was offered by Colorado in the spring and tried to transfer to Colorado prior to the 2023 season, but was denied admission to the school. That was later overturned, but he was unable, but he wasn't able, excuse me, to suit up in 2023, okay? Uh, and then they even got, one of the things that I saw online with a photo of him and his Jack State gear, but, you know, you know how these graphic folks, they put everything together right now. They making a killing off these kids uh, or young men, I should say, okay? Uh, and got Colorado on here like he like he going, okay? Uh, and then in, in the piece, uh, Gaither quotes uh, Mr. Ward. He said, I explained to them the situation of what was going on, and the committee said they didn't know that. Ward recap. At the time that I got denied, I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought, I guess that's it. But after talking to a few people, they said, don't give up that easily. So I reached back out to them to see why I didn't get accepted. Uh, Ward reported 
He had been working out in hopes of making an impact on Colorado in 2024. Uh, said, I'm going to work out and get my body in top tier shape and be in the best condition I've ever been in so far in my life, Ward players. When I get to Colorado, I want to be in a situation to be able to make an impact right away on and off the field. Ain't nothing going to change my mind. I'm locked in, ready to go. I'm telling y'all, this is bad, Jack. This is bad. Because if Colorado is lying, that means they sat up here and uh, made a promise to a young man and then followed through on that promise. Now, you might wonder, first, why in the fuck would they do that? They need offensive linemen and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Maybe there's a possibility that they told this kid that they wanted him. And then once these other recruits uh, that they got, you know, uh, of course, the Mr. Mr. C, I want to say that it is, that we talked about out of high school. And then some of these other transfers who are maybe more talented than this young man, maybe they say that they don't need him. I don't know. It's a possibility. Who knows? I'm putting that out there because if what Zimmer, what Prime's assistant says is true, then that means Mr. Amari Ward does need some help. And I've seen that too. So I, I've seen both of them. We know Prime ass will lie. So if he'll lie, you know what I'm talking about? The motherfuckers up under him will lie. We, we know that shit. Okay. I'm the motherfucker that, that made the video called We Believe the Bullshit, okay? All right, so we we, we know he, he bullshit artists, okay? So, so we can imagine his staff do the same shit, all right? But I've also seen, well, people will come up with some elaborate lies um, to kind of make up for their shortcomings or to kind of live out their fantasies. I've seen it, okay? I've seen it in multiple instances, and it's bad. It's bad, Jack, okay? So uh, if this young man is indeed lying about this, if he made these fake offers up, uh, which that part, unfortunately, from what I'm seeing online, seems like folks are saying that's becoming quite commonplace now, that a lot of kids are on here making up shit because it's all about the, the post to put uh blessed to receive an offer from blah blah blah. Y'all have seen these posts. I'm like, God damn, dog. Woo. That's the new thing. Now these kids making all these graphic designers, you know, going to these graphic designers and getting all this shit, showing all their offers. Or if they choose to transfer, they writing a whole novel for your motherfucking ass and getting it in great script and putting an image of themselves on it. God damn, bro. This shit crazy. Social media makes motherfuckers do a lot of crazy shit now both been lying both been lying forever okay but social media has the lies on steroids now these are barry buns type lies okay these are goddamn jose conseco type lies okay that's what we all with these motherfucking lies okay and so if this young king is lying if he did make this up uh I know it's hard to, 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 to think of this, but let's try to give him some grace. And the reason I'm saying it's hard because I know a lot of folks were very uh, put off and a lot of folks were uh, pissed off about that post that he made, you know, acting like Jack State was so unsafe for him and all that kind of shit. Okay. Um, but if all this is true, something serious might be wrong with the young king. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and he would need some help. Still a young king. You just ain't no adult. You know what I'm talking about? You know, he's an adult. I mean, I said it. He's an adult, but this is not no uh, OG. This ain't no experienced motherfucker. Like when y'all hear me criticize Deion Sanders and uh, Charleston, right? Them old ass motherfuckers, man. They got them, uh, both of them motherfuckers older than me, shit. I'm 39 years old and I'm supposed to know what the fuck. I'm fully formed, fully mature, and they older than me. So they both know what the fuck they, what they doing. You know what I'm talking about? But you got somebody in their teens or early 20s and shit like that. Think back to your teens and early 20s. 
wild time. Wild time. Some of us were more mature than others. I would say I was more mature than most. But still, I look back and say, hey, what the fuck were you doing? To some shit. Okay. Never nothing like this. Okay. I ain't never come up with Newton. This is bad, Jack. And, and again, maybe I'm partial to stuff like this, you know, given my background. You know, uh, psychology major, former teacher, uh, mentor. You know, so when, when I see young people doing shit, you know, I always try to figure out, okay, what, what's making that young person tick? What's behind this? What's behind this? Why, why, why would this kid, if this is true, if I, I just still want to say that, if this kid is lying, okay, why would he go out of his way to make an elaborate lie like this? Why was he trying so desperately to get to Colorado out of all the places he can play football? You don't feel safe at Jack State. Okay, cool. Go play somewhere. Else. Go to Alcorn. Go to Mississippi Valley State. Go to any. Go somewhere. Drop down to Division Two. Go somewhere and play football. Why I got to be in Colorado? Maybe he looked at Prime as, as a father figure. Maybe Prime was something he needed. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the, the kid might have his dad in his life. I don't know. There's a picture attached to the HBCU Game Day article, though. A prime is giving this young man a hug, you know, that seems like a fatherly type of hug. So I don't know, maybe something about Prime is something like he uh still wanted and he wanted to get back to it. I don't know. All I know is this is bad. This is bad. So if Colorado is lying about uh an offer to this young man shame on them but if colorado is telling the truth and this young man is lying then i pray i'm gonna do it right now i pray and ask god to help this young man to get the help that he needs okay and I like to do that publicly right here in front of you. Cause a lot of folks say, you'll be in my prayers and uh, be keep you in your prayers. Or they put the little praying hand emojis online and they keep on scrolling. They don't never be praying for your ad. They just put the prayer emojis and keep rolling. I want you to see that I really just did that. Okay. And if this young man has made this shit up, I would hope that you pray for him too. Okay. Even though he said all this shit about Jack State, we going to be all right. We going to be all right. All right. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.